As the Mets make a decision on what to do with the future of Daniel Murphy, how much to offer him, how many years, and most pressing, whether or not to put the qualifying offer on him for $15.8 million by Friday's deadline, it will soon be on Daniel Murphy to make a decision on the Mets. And yesterday, talking to baseball, had a couple people tweeting in, one in particular, who said Daniel Murphy should give the Mets a hometown discount. And I could not disagree more with that notion. Look, Daniel Murphy has been a Met his entire life. Daniel Murphy was given a chance by the Mets to be the player he is now. I can understand why anyone in this situation would have a soft spot for the team they are with. And I can understand why Daniel Murphy, just from a baseball perspective, would want to stay in New York and want to stay with a brilliant Mets pitching staff. But if you're Daniel Murphy, whether or not, I think we all assume the $15.8 million qualifying offer will appear next to Daniel Murphy's name by the Friday 5 p.m. deadline, whether or not that happens or not, he's going to reject that and he's going to hit free agency. That is almost a certain at this point. And then it will be about going to the highest bidder or making a decision on how much less possibly to take with the Mets. And for Murphy, this is his last shot. He will be 31 years old when opening day rolls around. He will never be as sought after as he is now for a couple reasons. Number one, had his best OPS since 2011 this year. I don't think it's going to continue to climb as he moves more steadily into his 30s. Had a big year this year before free agency and capped it off, of course, with a brilliant postseason. The NLDS, the NLCS, a two weeks to remember. Really, baseball history was made by Daniel Murphy. He's a multi-positional player. He's not great defensively, not a great base runner. He's a good hitter. And in this market right now, even with the qualifying offer on him, he should see a four-year deal. He should see life-changing money, and he should see the last big long-term offer of his career. If the Mets make him a representative offer and he wants to stay, so be it. But if someone comes out of nowhere and gives Daniel Murphy the money that the Mets are not willing to do, he owes it to himself, he owes it to the rest of baseball, and he owes it to his agent and everyone to take that offer because he's a good player that might be getting paid like a very good player. And this is his only shot to do it. He may want to stay with the Mets, but Daniel Murphy doesn't owe it to the Mets to take a hometown discount.